report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Summer like weather here in San Diego. Meteorologist Angelica Campos watching it all. Hi, Angelica. Hi, Kimberly. Yes, it's going to be warm for the next couple of days. This morning we had some clouds. They cleared and the sun has been shining, but we have those clouds returning, which they will help coastal communities. The same can't be said for the rest of the county. Let's take a look at the current conditions. It is blue out there, just so pretty in downtown San Diego. The temperatures across the county vary depending on location from 68 degrees in the downtown area to 81 degrees under sunny skies in Ramona. So it is picture perfect out there. As we look outside right now, 66 degrees in San Diego. Humidity remains high at 73% and that of course is the case because of the proximity of the marine layer. As long as we can to keep that marine layer in place. The moisture levels will also be a little bit higher and we have some clouds not everywhere right now. Most of them in Oceanside trying to make their way into Encinitas where the skies are clear in Carlsbad. Then you make your way down to OB and those clouds are just sitting out there over the water, but they will be moving in tonight. Just like this morning, they do clear nicely. If you're in the eastern part of the county right along the 15 by 7 a.m. already starting to clear along the immediate coastline. Just a few leftover clouds. The timestamp here 11 a.m. That is when we'll start to see more sunshine closer to the coast and our watch was now upgraded as expected. An excessive heat warning will go into effect on Thursday at 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. Sunday. You can see this is for our deserts, including areas like Borrego Springs and Ocotillo Wells. In our seven day forecast, as we look at the temperatures right now, 74 degrees for our Wednesday by the end of the week, closer to the 80s and Saturday and Sunday next week, we'll start to see some improvement. Patchy clouds will be around every night and every morning for coastal communities and we'll start to see some of those clouds make their way into our inland valleys with temperatures closer to the 90s on Friday and Saturday. The heat this weekend will peak Friday through Sunday next week. We'll start to see those numbers going back down and inching closer to near normal, but still above average. And there's a possibility there could be a couple of places that could potentially tie or break records. One of those is Borrego Springs. The opportunity would be for Friday and Saturday. We'll see whether or not we tie those records. Temperatures will stay close to 116 on Saturday and then dropping back down to 111, which is really not much of a drop. Kimberly, back to you. Thank you, Angelica.